Hello, and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering, playing some Popper again, playing some Infect. I said in the last video I didn't know if I was going to play Infect or Dredge in Modern, but uh, I'm kind of feeling the Infect route, and this is my Infect list. I do want to say something. I'm going to bring it up right now. Um, there's a card in paper called Embiggen. This is a... Um, Uncard was un yeah Unfinity. This is an Unfinity card that is if you look, Popper legal, and this is a crazy card. Until in a turn, target non brushwag creature gets plus one plus one for each subtype card type and subtype it has. So something like um, Glistener Elf, Frexian Elf Warrior, if I believe correctly, would get plus four plus four. Because it's a creature, right? Or is it just plus three, plus three? I don't know. I don't know how it'd work. <laughs> to be fair. Um, until on turn, target. Either way, it would be a super good pump card for the deck. And I'm sure in paper it probably gets played. However, the issue is... It doesn't exist on Magic Online. So, unfortunately, can't play it in Magic Online. So, I would love to see this card get brought over. Um, I don't see why you couldn't just bring over some of the... Um, I'm actually curious. Some of the popper... Like, some of the legal cards... That's not... Some of the legal cards... Um... Is there like a thread or something? Are there any comments on this? No. I'm trying to see if someone can talk about how this actually works. What about Sky? Skyfall? I don't know. I've never been on this site. Um. And Beck gets a new toy. Yeah, just check these out. Pleasant Kenobi goes over it. I'll look it up later. But anyway, you can't play it in, in Magic Online. So, I've been asked before why I don't have that card in this deck list, and that's why. So anyway, what is this deck list? Uh, Infect, you just want to do 10 damage of Infect damage to them, and you win the game. So we have 10 Forest, 4 Hickory Woodlots, 2 Colony Gardens, Colony Gardens, and 3 Tranquil Thickets is our land base here. Hickory Woodlot enters the battlefield tap, but it taps for two. So potentially you can have three mana on turn two. Um, Garden gives you a token for the Chainer's Edicts decks to play against. And then Tranquil Thicket is a cycle land. If you have too many lands, you can cycle it. Hopefully find your kill spell. Creature-wise, we're simple. We have three infect. We have three sets of infect creatures, and that's it. For Glistener Elf. Four Blight Mambas and four Icker Mirror Claw Icker Claw Mirrors. Uh, each of them with Infect. Blight Mamba also has Regenerate, and Icker Claw has whenever it gets blocked, it gets plus two plus two to end a turn. And then our last creature is Land of War Augur, which you can sacrifice in your upkeep to give target cre uh, creature plus three plus three and trample until end of turn. As for our spells, we have just some basic pump spells for ground swells. Target creature gets plus two, plus two. It has landfall where creatures get plus four, plus four. Instead, if a land enters that turn, we have massive might. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and trample to end a turn. Four might of the old Corosa, which target creature gets plus two, plus two to end a turn, unless you cast it during a main phase in which they get plus four, plus four for one, which is awesome. Four Rancors for trample, and it also gives plus two, plus zero. And then we have our protection spells. We have four Vines of the Vastwood, which you can also kick to give creature plus four, plus four, but it protects our creatures, gives them hexproof. Yeah, gives them hexproof. Snakeskin Veil gives them hexproof and a plus one, plus one counter. And then Apostle's Blessing gives them protection of that certain color. And we can also use Apostle's Blessing to sneak in the rest of the damage. Sideboard-wise, uh, pretty simple. We have extra copies of Apostle's Blessing, Snake, uh, Snakeskin Veil for more protection. A spider umbra for reach. Um, 
we have two epic confrontations to fight off little other creatures that block pretty well. Three return to natures to destroy artifacts or enchantments or exile graveyard stuff. Three weather the storms to gain some life. An extra colony garden, colony garden for the edicts decks, and then a pulse of Marassa to bring in against the heavy removal decks to pick back up our infect creatures and potentially burn too. So that is what's going on in our deck. So let's get into a game. Infect. But yeah, so Embiggen, unfortunately, is not a uh, a card you can play currently. So maybe in the future, maybe in the future. But I am looking at the format currently, and I'm just wanting to see, like, what's going on here. Burns back on the top, Cog Gates, which Cog Gates could be kind of fun. I like the idea of it anyway. I like Squadron Hawk. I mean, that's that's really what it boils down to. I like Squadron Hawk. Prismatic Strands is expensive though. Infinity is back on there, huh? What do I need to actually finish out Infinity? I think I have most of Infinity. I don't have the Artificer. Um don't have the hydro blasts i just substitute for red elemental so really that's it the hydro blasts and the artificer i have most everything else maybe one day maybe one day i'll i'll build up uh infinity affinity i like affinity so maybe one maybe one day demir control boros synthesizer I think I have the same problem. I need like prismatic strands and stuff, right? Oh, are you not playing that? Ooh, are you like obtainable? Yeah, I think I have most everything here. Hmm. You might be. You might be something I'm going to pick up at some point here soon. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and download you. Yeah, because I have almost everything. Like This is probably under a dollar for me to finish. <clears throat> like, I need the Golden Egg, the Foundry Helix, the Celestial fair, uh, Flare, Seeker of the Way, Glenhawk, Ancient Den, Boris Garrison, Cabria crossroads probably saying that wrong like obviously i need some things right but like majority of it is pretty cheap and i have a lot of it so at some point still waiting to get into a game at some point bogles i still need to finish out i have almost all bogles i'm just missing ancestry mask and utopia sprawl pretty much which are the most expensive cards in the deck <laughs> at some point at some point, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, we're not on the play, which is kind of what you want with this deck. Uh, Mulligan. We have no infect cards. Mulligan again. We have infectors, but we don't have a second land, which is where it's iffy. All right. We're going to go one, two, definitely not the best. This is probably a losing hand, but that's the way it goes sometimes with infect. Like you pretty much have to have an infect card in your hand. And it does not mulligan super well because <laughs> kind of rely on a good handful of pump spells. And we're going to play against elves. No? Is that not an elf? What are you? Oh, we're getting another land. So Groundswell, Groundswell is at least going to be turned on. So there's that, I suppose.
Not sure what our opponent's playing currently. It's not a card I'm used to seeing. Neither is this one. Number Spider. So, just some kind of like stompy deck? Like some kind of ramp, I, I mean. The number of spiders is going to be really hard for us to get around, unfortunately. Because it's a 2 4, ain't it? It's got a big butt, right? And yeah, it creates another 2 4. I imagine this is the spider. Yep. Pretty good. Vines of Vastwood. Oh shit, because I hit yield through turn. Damn it. I'm like half to do just a scoop. So I wasn't going to attack. Alright. No, we're dead. We're dead here. Uh, that was such a stupid thing from me. Because I wasn't going to attack. I'm going to bring in the epic confrontations here. I wasn't going to attack. Apostle's Blessing, I think, is worth bringing in, too. I honestly think we can go down the um, snakeskin veils. Because I think the Apostle's Blessing is going to be better to try to get through them. Um, Oh my god, that, that's so stupid. I wasn't going to attack, so I yielded through turn. And then I decided, you know what, I'll attack and then I'll pump, right? But I still had the yield, so when I attacked and they blocked, I just lost the game. <laughs> oh, at least this isn't a league. Um, Lena or Augur could could be decent here. Um, problem is, I like a lot of what we got. Maybe I don't bring an Epic Confrontation, but I like Epic Confrontation to potentially kill their dorks. I think I'm just going to go down the Massive Mites. So they're a Avenging Hunter deck. Uh, I'm going to keep... This is not that bad of a hand. Avenging Hunter, though, is going to be a bit of an issue if they can stick it. I'd like just a regular forest here. No. No. Oh, we have all the mana in the world for next turn, so. I'll probably just epic confrontation this dude away anyway. Ugh, Corian Ranger. I don't know how this would work now. A standard barrier being on the field. Let's find out. Jesus. Sure. Are we sure this isn't an elf deck? Unfortunately, we had to do that because of the stupid fucking. Uh, 
standard barrier. Standard barrier bearer. Really need to top deck a land next turn, though. Like, super top deck a land next turn. We are getting six of Infect to them, though, which is pretty good. A land, we win the game, I'm pretty sure. So they kill our Acre Mirror Claw here. Will you stop doing stuff? Four. I'm just trying to debate. Get four B seven. They have to block eight. So yeah, they're dead. Okay. I just want to make sure they're dead before I do this. Cause they have to block or they're dead, and if they block, they're dead. Right? Did I not gain as much as I thought I did? Oh, you bitch. I forgot about Corian Ranger's ability. God damn it. Yeah, now I'm pretty sure we're dead. Well, we could kill both of their creatures and still trample over two. So there is that, I suppose. Will you quit playing stuff? Jesus. Okay, cool. I'm just going to run it back. <laughs> just kept playing stuff. I was like, stop it. Stop what you're doing. Well, I'm glad we had that epic confrontation because that flag bearer would have ruined our whole game plan if we didn't. I'm pretty sure I'd have to target it with all of my spells. Risk it for the biscuit. This is one of those hands that could be good if we draw a second land. They're going to have that every turn. Okay, that's different. Thank you. If we draw a land, I'll play Tranquil Thicket, honestly. If we don't draw a land, I'm not going to play it. I'll wait and use it with Groundswell. Jeezy, Pete's. Just turn to uh, Penumbra Spider, why don't you? Our opponent's deck's pretty cool. Our opponent's deck is pretty cool. I gotta give him credit. Or credit's due. It's pretty cool. There's actually a pretty good argument for playing Tranquil Thicket there. Because we could have probably just won next turn. Or so. Land? Yes. Excellent. Um, Rancor, you. Oh, cancel. Groundswell. Groundswell. They have to block it. But they're going to take a ton of infect damage regardless.
Token's really cool looking. Never seen the token for it before. Think three, seven, eight. So I think they're dead here. Yep. Cool. Well, that was uh, another round with Infect. It's been a second since I've played this game, played this deck. I mean, um, I love this deck. Always have. Would love to see Embiggen brought over. I think it could be a fun card for this deck to play with. Probably would get rid of Massive Might. I don't know. I don't know what you'd go down, honestly. Uh, but I would definitely bring it in. <laughs> We'd definitely play around with it if they got it. Um, I've played this deck a bunch, so if you ever want to see me play more games with this deck, you can uh, go to my channel. There's a list of all my Magic the Gathering videos. I have them in three different playlists, all four, I guess. There's one that's just all formats. There's one that's Popper. There's one that's Modern. There's one that's Pioneer. Pioneer one is very short. But um, yeah, that's that's been uh, this round of Magic Popper with Infect. You can uh, press the subscribe button or the little bell notification if you haven't already. It'll let you know anytime I upload videos. I do Popper about three times a week. I wouldn't say Popper. I do Magic the Gathering about three times a week. 99% of it in Popper. I've been getting back into Modern a little bit, but I'm only playing Dredge. So I'm mainly just playing Infect. Not Infect. Popper. Um, and I play, I play a good amount of different decks, I think, in Popper. I'm always expanding my popper library um because it's a very inexpensive format and once you get some of the more expensive staples decks become super cheap to do so i've you can see i've been building a, a library of popper decks to play so yeah i hope you enjoyed it um also there's a link in the description to my movie channel if you want to check that out uh it's there so i hope Y'all have a good day. Peace.